السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. ما شاء الله. I think we need to develop that وعليكم السلام into a slightly quicker, less monotonous sort of greeting. So we can try again. إن شاء الله I'm going to greet you, and you say وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. So السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Mashallah, mashallah, that's good. I think uh, I'm more excited than you guys to be here with you today. I want to ask you guys something. Who eats bread? Put up your hand. Okay, put your hands down. Where do you buy the bread from? Okay, hang on. Who makes the bread? Who makes the bread? The bakers. Are they Muslims? Thank you. Who, for example, um, catches a lift to come here? with someone who's not your parent, yeah? A driver or someone, put up your hand. Okay, who brings you to school? Your carer, is, is he or she a Muslim? Yes, okay, good. Ask you another question. Uh, who, how many of you have ever met a policeman? Put up your hand, put your hands down. Was that policeman a Muslim? Okay, most of you said no. Hang on, hang on. That's a point I'm making. Most of you said no, right? How many of you have uh, seen people uh, clean clean the streets and so on? Yeah? Are they, did the people you saw, were they Muslim? Put your hands down, right, okay. Um, how many of you have been to the dentist? Put up your hand. Okay, was the dentist a Muslim? Yes and no, okay, that's, that's good. So I can hear a lot of no's, okay? How many of you have uh, been to the... How many of you have been on an aircraft, aeroplane? Okay, put your hands down. Was the pilot a Muslim? Okay, mostly, mostly the guys are saying no, right? Okay, okay, right. So I think I'm going to be making a very interesting point here. My beloved children, I want you to listen to something. I asked you a few questions. And I prove to you that the people around you who served you were not all Muslims, but they served you, they helped you, they, they actually did something for you, and they were not Muslims. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. There are so many of them all around, and what they've done for you is make your life easy, right? They're either the baker, for example, the ice cream man, do you agree, right? For example, the, the you know, Maybe people you went to a restaurant and they might have been working there. They could be Muslim, but a lot of them are not Muslim. The, the pilot who took you somewhere, uh, maybe the doctor, the driver, the dentist, and so many others, they're not Muslim. And what did they do for you? They actually helped you. Now, I want you to know that when it comes to helping people, your religion becomes irrelevant. Did you hear what I just said? When it comes to helping people, your religion becomes irrelevant. You help everyone, no matter what faith they belong to. So if you're a doctor tomorrow, can you put up a sign there saying only Muslims are allowed here? No. no. If you're a dentist, if you're a pilot, can you say I'm only going to fly Muslims? No. no. If you're a, a, a driver, for example, are you going to say um, I'm only going to treat Muslims or I'm only going to drive Muslims? No. We are human beings. We will help everyone else. We will help as many people as we can. And we will save lives, we will serve lives. That's what we will do. We will save lives and we will serve lives. Because that's what makes humanity fulfill the role that the creator of that humanity has intended. So we all will try to help one another, inshallah. Yes, you're Muslim, you're in a Muslim school, you have your identity, you must be proud of that identity. You must be proud of your identity. Don't give up your faith, but remember, other people have different faiths. Let them do whatever they have to, okay? Let them believe whatever they want to. You need to learn whatever you have and you need to showcase it. You need to teach them. Do you know that a lot of people think Muslims are bad, right? Yeah? Are you, are you guys bad? No. You're not bad. So what do you have to do? do you, does it mean you must give up your faith and say, okay guys, they think we're bad, so let's just become someone who we're not. Is that, is that fair? You have to be proving to them that, listen guys, we are Muslim and we are very, very good. We serve. We also do the same and we do it in a very, very big way. So, uh, who wants to be uh, a school teacher here? Put up your hand. 
Who wants to become a teacher here? Ah, oh, good luck to all the teachers, mashallah, tabarakallah. See, we're gonna be we're gonna be having a shortage of teachers in the future. Uh, how we already have, subhanallah. I tell you what, school teachers are the most, most, most important people in your lives. Can I tell you why? They get a salary that might not be that grand, but they get a reward from the Almighty that is way, way beyond what they know themselves. You know, in the Prophet Sallallahu in one of the battles, there were a few people who were like, like, like POWs, like prisoners of war, and he told them, if you teach 10 people how to read and write, we will free you. So the freedom, their freedom was their paradise. So if you, basically, if you teach 10 people how to read and write, we're gonna give you, uh, like you, what you consider your paradise. And I tell you, our teachers have taught thousands, not just 10, thousands of children. So they will get, inshallah, paradise. Say Amin. Amin. I mean, I mean, have hope. And this is the reason why a lot of the times, you know, when it comes to uh, salaries, uh, which is the job that is the most highly paid? Come, what do you want to be? Yeah? Doctors. Tell me. Doctors. Soccer players. Oh, no, it's not from the It's okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you, you agree it's not the teacher who's the highest paid, right? In terms of money. But I promise you, in the eyes of Allah, the teacher is really, really, really one of the highest paid. One of the highest paid. So much so that Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, Innama bu'ithtu mu'alliman. I was sent as a teacher. Wow. He was sent as a teacher, which means it's one of the tasks he had. It's a very noble task. So my, my children, I don't have a lot of time, but I, I, the point I wanted to raise today to you is work hard at school. And your idea must be, inshallah, to be able to be an asset to your community, your nation, your country, and to be able to be an asset to the ummah as well. You will serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through serving the rest of humanity who were created by the same Allah. You know, Allah created us. He created everyone else. Allah created the other creatures as well. So we need to respect everyone and everything. That's what Islam is all about. So when we showcase Islam correctly to the people, they're going to say, hang on, I heard that Islam and the Muslims are bad, but I'm interacting with some people here, and they're the best of people. They are lovely. They really care. They're so kind. They speak to each other, you know. They help each other, and inshallah, in that way, we will be able to succeed. Is that a good message? Did you hear it from me? Yes. So the next time I come, I can ask you more questions, inshallah? Yes. Okay, I want to ask you the last set of questions for today. Uh, the question is, and I need order. I need order, meaning you put up your hands and I will ask you, uh, I will ask you to answer, right? What do you want to become? Yes. Engineer, mashallah. What do you want to become? Yes. Yes. A doctor, yes. Doctor, yes. Police officer, yes. Yes. Hafiz Anna? Engineer, yes. Hafiz, yes. Soccer player, yes. A pilot, yes. Soccer player, yes. Doctor. Dentist. Yes, with a green jersey, yeah. An architect, okay, this side, yes. Wow, I love you, mashallah, kindergarten teacher. I'm gonna send my kids to you, yeah. <laughs> my grandkids, inshallah, yes. Scientist, yes. Doctor, mashallah, tabarak, yes. A lawyer, yes. Doctor. I can't hear you. Oh, I'm slightly deaf, you know, now I'm a grandfather, so. Say it again. Architect, wow, beautiful, yes. Scientist, okay, that's it. Do you notice something? Everyone wants to be something different. A few of you want to be the same things, everyone wants to be something different. You know why? Allah's created us different so that everyone can serve in a beautiful way. If all of us were doctors, what would happen to the lawyers and the accountants and, and, and the pilots who would fly us? I mean, besides this guy flying us, I haven't heard of many more pilots. So by that time, I think we're going to be needing, uh, you know, uh, he's going to be in demand. SubhanAllah, big salary you're going to be having if that's the case. But the point I'm raising is, thank Allah we're different. So when Allah made us different, it's in order for us to be able to fulfill different roles. It would be boring if everybody thought the same. We have two hafid here who are going to lead the salah, inshallah, right? Inshallah, and we have a, a, a kindergarten teacher who is going to be teaching our kids, inshallah. We have a, a few others. I hope you're going to have a few more teachers as we grow a little bit, inshallah, you know? Uh, and so that we can actually have institutions like this that people will run. Therefore, learn to respect everyone because we need all the people. We need all of you. We need all of you.
in community and society. So work hard. Because if you don't work hard, you want to be a pilot, but you're not going to get there. If you don't work hard, you want to be an architect, you're not going to make it there. Work hard and be focused and don't let things distract you. I've spoken enough for today, inshallah. And I think you, can, uh, you guys can take that message away. I need to leave as much as I don't want to leave. You can see I'm stuck on my chair. Who put glue on this chair? <laughs> yeah, you see, these guys are uh, the guys who are actually keeping me stuck here, inshallah. But mashallah, I enjoyed it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Did you? Yes! You did? Yes. I'm a funny guy? Do you know why? Because I have braces. <laughs> Okay, Allah bless you guys. Take care guys and Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.